Gemini and love, hello, how are you today? Let's take a look and see what is happening between you, your love interest, and what the likely outcome will be in your connection. Okay, we have, that is the King of Pentacles energy. You're feeling very secure in what you want, what you know, what you need. You're, it looks like you're actually avoiding your person at this point in time, Gemini. Um, your this Seven of Swords card just says that you feel as though something has gone on in the relationship that does not feel good. You don't know what they're up to. There's a feeling maybe that they're really just not coming clean, but this is your energy. So what you're bringing to the table right now is sort of a stealth, you know, don't pay attention to me. I've got things to do. I'm moving forward in my life. I'm coming out of a period that was painful. Your person's energy is a knight of swords. They want to come in and talk to you. They don't know quite what to do about that. The two of coins, they don't know about the timing. They don't know quite what to say to you. They feel as though they have to hurry, though. There's a real sense of urgency. With the two of coins, they, have, they don't know which way to present their story to you. They don't know what to say to you. They feel as though you're moving on very definitely. They feel your energy. They also feel that you're sort of like sneaking around behind the scenes. You're not talking to them. I don't think you've texted them in a very long time. The Nine of Swords says that they are very freaked out, very worried. They're remorseful. They're regretful about what's gone on on their side of this relationship. Let's look right now and see what the outcome is from their perspective, and then we'll look at your perspective. Okay, from their perspective, the outcome, they are trying to get mastery over the situation. They want to come in, they're debating on whether they're going to come in with a beautiful love offer. You know, they don't know if you're open to it. The Four of Coins, though, says that they've been holding back. This person has definitely been holding back. Let's see, what is the energy or the outcome in terms of how Gemini feels this week? Two of Cups. So you still love this person very much. You want the relationship. You want to celebrate. You feel as though... You know, you feel as though you're going to avoid them if they are avoiding you. But you, this, this is too, that's a lot of marriage energy. Also, too, the Six of Swords, you are playing a strategy. You are definitely wanting mastery over the situation. You are truly not going to stay in the situation if you don't get what you want. You've already sort of dealt with the pain. You've already gone through this period of time in which you've been working on healing. So let's see what the obstacles are. We have love. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's a lot of love between the two of you. And it's actually serving as an obstacle, the emotionality of it. Both of you are very defensive. Both of you are depressed and feeling lost in your emotions. The King of Wands energy is also a lot of pride. Most of you have a lot of pride, too much pride, too much dignity. That's Leo energy. We have Pisces. Pisces is very active in the chart. We have a full moon in Virgo this week. But we have both of you just feeling very emotional, lost in your emotions, defensive and very prideful, proud. So that those are the obstacles here. So let's take a look and see the clarifiers. Why is that an obstacle? <laughs> you're manifesting one another and you're both very emotional and you don't want to show your emotions. See how he's hidden? He has a cloak. This is, you know, both of you are feeling like you just don't want to be the first one to say anything nice or to make a move. Both of you are manifesting one another. Why do both of you feel very defensive? Uh, equal give and take. Both of you feel as though you've given a lot to this relationship and that the other person has not acknowledged the depth of giving that took place in this connection. Why is the moon card here? 
Why is the moon card here for Gemini in love? Gemini in love and the obstacle. The obstacle. Marriage, okay. So there could be juggling too. For some of you, this person, your person, Gemini, could be married to another. You could be in a third party situation. But how you feel is that you would like to have a long-term prospect with this person. The moon card says that you just don't know the status but your person also is missing you. So when we look at the obstacle here, there is a marriage, there's juggling, there's manifesting, there's love, there's confusion, and there's pride. Why? What is? What do we need to know about the pride? You both feel as though you have not been treated fairly by the other. So we have two people very much uh, very much wanting to talk to one another. I want to dive in more deeply here to how your person feels in their heart space, but this is the obstacle that's going on right now. So how does Gemini's person feel in their heart space about Gemini? They think the world of you. They feel as though the, you're the most incredible person that they've ever really had the pleasure to deal with. They feel as though they want to start a new cycle with you and end an old cycle, but they want to be successful. So in their heart space, your person is feeling very much, you know, we see the snake, quote unquote, the snake that eats itself is Ouroboros. And so it's like one cycle ends and the next begins. So your person does want a brand new cycle with you and they want a romantic cycle with you. They want to hurry in, but they're really having misgivings. They're very worried about this. They feel as though you will avoid them or that you actually are avoiding them, Gemini. And for some of you, that's absolutely true. So what else does your person feel in their heart space? Uh, they feel very, they feel lost in their emotions. This is a person who's sitting here going, I don't even know what to do. It's self-imposed restriction. It's somebody who feels like their hands are tied, that they don't have the ability to do anything. But look at what they want. Temperance card. That's a card of reconciliation, Gemini. That is a card that says that your person wants to work things out with you. So let's see. Let's clarify that world card. Your person feels as though they are a lightweight and that you're far more successful than they are. Interesting. Tell us more about the Page of Cups. So they do want to make the offer, but they don't think the offer is big enough that they would make, or they don't think the offer that they made you was big enough, so therefore you've closed out the cycle. Five of Wands, they feel very upset, very angry, very aggravated. It's like they want to fight for you. They don't know what to do. They feel as though they have already caused trouble. And they have. This person has been, I think, a little arrogant with you. When we get Leo energy, it's oftentimes very arrogant. So we see your person is all up in their head and they've walked away. They really feel this strong inclination to just, they're trying to forget you, but they can't. Look at this. They cannot. Their heart is still here in this relationship, as we can see it. They're protecting their heart here, but they're also trying to get mastery, but they are trying their darndest. But look at this. You are, they see you as this beautiful queen of pentacles energy. It does look like for most of you, they're watching you on the internet. They fantasize about you. But it does look like this person has, you know, has really, they're trying to keep their feelings at bay. Why is this person really trying to hold back on feelings and emotions? Because they, can, oh, your person feels that they can't make the offer that they would like to make to you. So we see that is uh, a really big issue here. So let's see what this person wants to talk to you about, Gemini. What does this person want to talk to you about? What does your person want to discuss? Ah, juggling two. Juggling two. Okay, so I think for many of you, this person may not be in love with a spouse or an ex, but... It doesn't look like they've taken any legal action to end the situation. On the other hand, they are considering it. All right, so 
Why do they want to be so romantic with you? Uh, they want to defend their turf, so to speak. They don't want you to get away. And that's the bottom line. This person does not want you to get away. They're so afraid that, you know, you're going to go out, find another relationship. That's how they see the energy that you are projecting outwards. <clears throat> they know that you care about them. There's no doubt about that. This person knows that. But what we see is they want to defend their relationship with you, their romantic connection. They're holding back because they feel as though you really have all the power. That, you know, if you want them, that you will beckon them forth <laughs> like the Queen of Wands. That you will show them the energy, the Aries, that you'll take action. They feel as though you need to take action. This person's insecure about this, to say the least. Why are they so sad here? Why are they so sad? Yeah, because here we go, Knight of Cups. They want to come in, but they don't know. They do not think that you will take their offer. They feel as though you're going to reject them. And we have the Four of Cups. That's so funny. The Four of Cups is here twice. Four of Cups, Four of Cups. You don't look satisfied. They do love you, but they don't think that you see the love that they have for you. It's behind you. Just as they don't think that, that you see the love they have for you because you're looking at the three empty cups and not the full one. They feel as though you've left them in the cold. However, they also want to heal and they want to see the relationship. They want to see it grow and they want to invest. So that energy is very, um, very interesting. So let's look and see right now what we have with the romance angels. Let's see what the energy is for Gemini and love. What is going on here? This is a very practical reading. I like to do deep reads, but I also like to do like just sort of what's happening. Love yourself first, Gemini. Well, you're good at that. You understand. You're doing that right now. Gemini is really uh, coming through, uh, has come through a lot astrologically and off to the races and great success coming for many Geminis right now. Worth waiting for. Divine timing as it is at work in your love life. All right. And, oops. Romance, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So spirit is still calling on you to be open to this relationship. Let's see what we have in terms of what's really going to happen at this time. Let's see. Is there are there any surprises? What does spirit want to tell you about this relationship right now? Your person wants to fight for you. You've got a lot of activity going on here. Trying to manifest each other, being very emotional, you know, feeling a lot of pride. Your person is itching to come in with a bouquet of flowers, you know, with sweet nothings. But again, you know, we look at the Knight of Cups, it's very romantic, but it's not a solid offer because knights have their horses is outside waiting so let's see we're gonna look at the energy of the Queen of Cups acceptance accepting one another's love that's it's so important that you accept one another the way that you love each other <clears throat> growth oh there's really still growth in the relationship even though you feel very defensive if you want it if you choose it Obviously, free will plays in, but you both need to have some gratitude about what this has been. You've both grown in wisdom. So this is a relationship that's very meaningful to both of you. So we will see what happens here. Let's see what else. We could use the Lenormand deck. Okay, let's see what Lenormand has to say about this at this period in time what's what's actually going to happen so these are predictive cards in terms of like fortune telling okay so we're going to do five cards for norman what is going on here the sun card beautiful beautiful i don't even know where to put this okay sun card okay happiest card in the deck joyful both of you feel this way oh a message a letter a letter coming through is a very important message it's detailed it's in depth it's heartfelt 
it's not a text message it's something deeper and more serious what else do we have here between you and your love interest mice okay so we have little things that really ate away at this relationship it wasn't like one big event it's almost as though not taking care of the relationship itself not nurturing it enough not paying enough attention to it uh, is what really has eaten away at the core of the relationship. Clover brings in very good luck, new growth, new expansion. Oh, look at this, Gemini. The dog card. So the two of you are very loyal to each other. Again, we don't see the two of you facing and talking, but this love is not going anywhere. This envelope is something that those are the messages that you want to share. But we do have that situation where there's just little things eating away. But look at this. A lot of happiness, a lot of growth. The mice can be overcome. You need to sweep out whatever it is attracting the mice into the relationship. So there is a Lenormand final. It's been a joy, Jim and I. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.